Let us offer the fruit of our lips. Hear the sacrifice, the fruit of our lips. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you for the Lamb. Thank you for the blood of the great I Am. Greetings, friends and brethren. Paul Mays with you, your fired up servant, a servant of the King, and therefore I am your servant. I've got another original a cappella hymn for us to take apart, compare to the authority of Scripture, and make sure we are singing truth. One of the purposes of singing is teaching and admonishing, so we've got to make sure we are singing truth. I had a very good morning of worship several months ago. My brother-in-law, Jeff Durham, one of the elders at the West Side Church of Christ in Salem, Virginia, presided over the Lord's table, and he did so in a way that it was easy to focus on Jesus, focus on the sacrifice, and observe that memorial feast reverently. I was grateful for it. And as soon as I walked out, I sat in my truck and I recorded this chorus. I sat on the chorus for a while, and then a few months later, I finished writing the verses when I visited to speak at the Petersburg Church of Christ just south of Nashville. I pray that it is a blessing to you. Before we look at these lyrics, let's have a listen. We've come to you in song to thank you for the word. We've come to you in song to thank you. We know that from your word the truth is surely heard. And so it is for this we thank you. But more than any of this we've come. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you for the Lamb. Thank you for the blood of the great I Am. Thank you, God, that He was willing. Thank you that He died. Thank you for the blood flowing from His side. We've come to you in song to thank you for the church. We've come to you in song to thank you. We know there's only one. She's blood bought by your son. And so it is for this we thank you. But more than any of this we've come. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you for the Lamb. Thank you for the blood of the great I Am. Thank you, God, that He was willing. Thank you that He died. Thank you for the blood flowing from His side. We've come to you in song to thank you for the hope. We've come to you in song to thank you. Our hope of heaven grows, in Christian growth it shows, and so it is for this we thank you. But more than any of this we've come. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you for the Lamb. Thank you for the blood of the great I Am. Thank you, God, that He was willing. Thank you that He died. Thank you for the blood flowing from His side. I pray this has been a blessing to you. This was a good, fun, rewarding hymn for me to write. I pray that God accepts my service more than anything. You know, sometimes when you hear people praying, they will thank God for any number of things. You know, we could, we could never run out of things to thank God for. From the breath in our lungs to the food we eat to uh, the Bible, 
But more than any of this, we thank God for Jesus. And people often will pray that in their prayers. We'll thank God for many things. And then, but more than anything, God, we thank you for Jesus. And that's kind of the thrust of this hymn. I got out of my truck after uh, the Lord's Supper was led so capably by my brother-in-law, and I was focused. And I sang out that chorus, and I, I finished this hymn. Let's look at these lyrics, make sure they add up. I've got a bunch of scriptural references. We won't be able to touch on all of them, but I'll leave some of them for you to look up yourself. I encourage you to do so. We've come to you in song to thank you for the word. We've come to you in song to thank you. We know that from your word, the truth is surely heard. And so it is for this, we thank you. But more than any of this, we've come. And that's how we lead into the chorus. Several scriptures will support the, the concept of, of gratitude to God. A great many scriptures will. We're only going to hit on a few. The entire chapter of Psalm 119 is, is a great one to go to. But Psalm 95, 1, 2 is the first one we will read. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto Him with psalms. Also, sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is truth. That, that scripture supports, we know that from your word, the truth is surely heard. What a merciful God we serve for Him to provide us with scriptural truth that is understandable. So it is for this, we thank you. Each time we lead into the chorus, but more than any of this, we've come. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you for the Lamb. Thank you for the blood of the great I am. Thank you, God, that he was willing. Thank you that he died. Thank you for the blood flowing from his side. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. John 1.29. Thank you for the Lamb. John 1.29 supports that lyric. Thank you for the blood of the great I am. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. John 8, 58, the deity of Christ. Thank you, God, that he was willing. Christ wasn't taken. Christ gave himself for us. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. He humbled himself. Thank you, God, that he was willing Thank you that he died. And he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. 1 John 2.2 2. Thank you for the blood flowing from his side. That ends the first verse, of course, John 19.34. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. Thank you for the blood flowing from his side. The next verse, we've come to you in song to thank you for the church. We've come to you in song to thank you. We know there's only one. She's blood bought by your son. And so it is for this, we thank you. But more than any of this, we've come. Acts 20 and verse 28, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers, to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. The one church of the Bible. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for a bunch of denominations? I don't think so. For it. Jesus doesn't authorize denominations. The one church of the Bible. Ephesians 5.25 we give thanks to God always for you, making mention of you in our prayers. 1 Thessalonians 1, 2. This is being grateful for individual Christians, for a body of Christians. 1 Thessalonians 1, 2. We are grateful for the church. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you for the Lamb. Thank you for the blood of the great I Am. Thank you, God, that He was willing. Thank you that He died. Thank you for the blood flowing from His side. The next verse, we've come to you in song to thank you for the hope. We've come to you in song to thank you. Our hope of heaven grows and Christian growth, it shows. And so it is for this, we thank you. 
but more than any of this, we've come. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hope in thee. Psalm 33, 22 supports our gratitude for the hope that is in God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Psalm 42, 5 supports our hope, our gratitude for the hope we have in God. Romans 5, 1, 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Romans 5, 1, 5 supports the, the lyric that says, in Christian growth it shows. Our hope of heaven grows in Christian growth. It shows we should be increasing in our hope of heaven as we mature as Christians. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. 1 Timothy 4.15 It shows our Christian hope, our hope of heaven, of salvation, our hope in God, in Jesus, in the salvation in Jesus. It should show to the world. The world should see this in us. They should see our Christian walk and our hope that is in Jesus Christ through his sacrifice. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you for the lamb. Thank you for the blood of the great I am. Thank you, God, that he was willing. Thank you that he died. Thank you for the blood flowing from his side. It is the blood of Christ, indeed, that saves us. We are grateful for that blood. We're grateful for that sacrifice. We would have no hope of heaven if it were not for that sacrifice. Thank you for joining us for another episode of The Fruit of Our Lips. I'm Paul Mays, your host. We'll see you next time. Let us offer the fruit of our lips. Hear the sacrifice, the fruit of our lips.